Good afternoon, everybody. This is Jennifer. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. Today I have another um, Echo Park mystery box unboxing. I've been waiting to do this. I got this a few days ago. In fact, I have a whole pile of packages. I have been sick for the last week and a half. So I apologize in advance for any coughs and sniffles. Um, this is the first time I thought I could get back to do a video without sounding absolutely terrible. <laughs> so let's t open it up and take a look at and see if this is as good as the other ones. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to, I think, set the whole big box, all those goodies aside to a bit, and then we can look at the items one by one. So first thing, we'll start with the smallest little items first, and that would be the washi tape. So this one is from, let's see, there, which is delivery, you know, right there on the front of the red, <coughs> excuse me, on the front of the red thing. So here we've just got all these cute little packages. I am never a big one with using a lot of black. It looks a little, looks a little beat up, doesn't it? Um, on my, um... On my cards and things like that or scrapbook pages I mean scrapbook pages, yeah but not for Christmas that's what I should say but it's cute okay so let's rewind that back that up it's just decorative pretty tape okay next thing <clears throat> this I was surprised to see and if you've seen any of the other unboxings which <coughs> I encourage you <coughs> excuse me to go take a peek at um, I've never seen these before Somebody tell me where to find these on the website. So these are really cute. Okay, I got all Christmas themed ones. They are like travelers notebooks, I guess you would call them. So these ones are blank, blank, and lined. So let me just open one of these up. They're 32 sheets each. I plan on making like a December daily kind of thing out of it. It's got, just so you can see, um, like copy weight paper, that kind of thing on them, 32 pages. So here's the first two. I really like the plaid. There you go. I'm not big on brown as much unless it's like with gingerbread. I don't know why. I know it's, I know it's really popular and rustic. And it's funny. I was just saying how I don't usually do a lot of black, but there you go. So maybe I will find a reason to use my washi tape with that in it because that looks really pretty. Um, this one, no, that one's blank. And let's just take a quick peek. To see the lined ones this of course could be any time of year that pattern but and again the black <laughs> somebody's determined to get me to use black for Christmas so I actually have a plan because I saw someone and I wish for the life of me I could remember um, where I saw it but they they do like their scrapbooks and little books all the time with these like travel notebook things and when you look at it this way for a spread, it's still, it's pretty good size. So you have, you know, what, eight and three quarters um, by eight and a quarter. So you have a decent layout, like space to put stuff in. Just obviously not four by six or bigger, you know, pictures, unless you want to cut them. But they were really cute. And once you actually start lining the pages, layering the papers, um, they look really cute. So I plan on doing... Kind of like the December Daily, and I think with the list one, I'm going to do, which one had the list on it? Was it this? Sorry, I put it away. Uh, Christmas list, and where you do your cards and your gifts and what things you have on there. And, you know, just all things you keep track of. And it's such a great size to throw in your bag or tote or whatever you have or keep handy. So I was actually really pleased to get these. The only thing that probably would have pleased me more... Um, is I saw somebody's got Disney ones and they look like Mickey Mouse and everything for traveler's books or to do memory books or to put, you know, all the notes from your trip. So I am telling you, anyone know where to get those? Please let me know because I've never seen them on their website. Oh, and before I do anything else, huge uh, warehouse sale just started again yesterday. So I'll put a, just a regular post on that, but the regular warehouse sale. Now, that's the thing. They'll have like these. I'll show you the next thing. The 6x6 six six paper pad. So they'll have these, and they're like 3 or $4, depending on how many you buy. But I have never seen like those traveler's notebooks and a couple other things. Like the, I'll show you in here that I haven't seen on their warehouse sales. So I'm guessing you can buy them regularly, but um, I haven't 
you know, I generally always try and wait for the sales. It's just clearly I can't get everything on sale. So I may have to look beyond the sale page. Okay, so I love my dog. These are adorable. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I have I have the large collection of this. And, oh my gosh, it's adorable. It is just too cute. I'm a lucky dog. See? Dogs are not our whole life, but they make our lives whole. I mean, just everything about it is too stinking cute. Look at those pages. So, this is just screaming out to be a mini album, in my opinion. And especially, I mean, look at these. Oh, my gosh. So, just too cute. I can barely stand it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so that was in there, and I was happy to get that. Then we have photo corners. Same thing, um, Traveler's Notebook photo corners. I haven't seen photo corners in like ages. Well, I've seen plain like white ones, that kind of thing. Actually, I somewhere I had seen like a little um, punch to make your own. And I really want to find where that was. If I wish I could remember it. Maybe I'll have to search Amazon again because I do like using these. I think they look cute and I have some photo punch corners. But they're adorable. Uh, let's see. The enamel, enamel dots. Hello Easter. Very pretty colors. So those, of course, will be very useful. Got some puffy stickers and let's go anywhere. And I have some other things that coordinate. I think I got um, a sticker book with this in here. But they're really cute. Just traveling, road trip, you know, Statue of Liberty, the little suitcases, passports, all adorable. Happy with that. I have not seen these. And of course, I do tons of Disney stuff. So, Magic and Wonder. And I just may have bought the big club kit for in the recent warehouse sale that's going on of this so four by six accent cards one each of 12 designs double sided so i again i don't know where these are coming from how do i not see these is it that these are on um the regular monthly kits or or what someone tell me i i obviously need to spend more time on their website so this is the good stuff these are just great I think these are, are these four by sixes? Like, look at my favorite castles. Yeah, four by six. That's what I thought. So, and I, these are too cute. I definitely wouldn't want to. I'd like another set because this, both sizes are great. Both sides of them. Snap click, very cute. Magic, and there we go. So, adorable. I know that I wouldn't be using, I don't do a whole lot of the um, pocket pages, but those are really cute. <clears throat> scenic route so these are the chipboard ones you know so they're good and hard on there just to give you a quick adventures calling grab your passport and let's go surf let's see adventure away it's good things come to those who book flights i like that <laughs> it's very cute another of the chipboard ones is summer let's see so we just this goes and i think um Obviously, those are probably really popular right now, but our pineapple, watermelon, our ice cream truck. We actually still have one that comes to our neighborhood. Shocking, right? Uh, and I remember my kids were little, how much they loved that. Okay, the next item, I've got, let's see, two more of the chipboard ones. Salon, which this is cute. I don't have anything to uh, do with this, really. I mean, have a great hair day. It's cute. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but I don't, I mean, I don't know. I, it's cute, but I just don't know that I'd probably use things like this, but, uh, not a lot of that, but it is cute. This again, love it. My favorite Christmas look at it. Candy cane wishes and mistletoe kisses. Santa Claus is coming to town. Let's see. Can you see those? Happy holidays. No, well, those are all independent there. Like it. Holly Jolly, Merry Christmas. I mean, you can never, in my opinion, you can never have too much Disney or too much Christmas. So I like all those things. All right. Here's Let's Go Anywhere. And this is one of the sticker books. Let's see, how many pages does it have on it? Does it say? Um, 16 pages. You mean like the big thing that says 16 pages? I'm like reading, looking at all the little stuff. Oh my God. Yeah, I don't think my. Excuse me, I don't think my brain has fully recovered to oxygen level and everything yet. But let's go anywhere. So these are really nice. Um, it, you know, I ha you have to like, like look at just travel, adventure. And it's a good size on there too. So 
it's always a good idea to travel. I like the suitcases, the old planes here and there. Route 66, Explore the World, Mount Rushmore. I have never been there, and I still want to go. Um, so, obviously, based on U.S., I guess. Compass, I like that. <coughs> Our vacation, family time. So, these are really cute. Nice. Very nice. We're ready to go. Sightseeing. Eat. This is a Taking you eat well, travel often. Look at how cute these are. Oh my gosh. And we have the second set again. Very nice. Okay. So happy with all that. I have not seen this one. I'm not really sure what I quite would do with this because we are not really a baseball family. We've been to a few of the Florida Marlins games only because we um we had a client that was an owner and gave us seats, you know, like right behind the dugout. So maybe I can find a way to incorporate this into one of the old ones, Home Run. It's cute, but my kids have never played that. It's really cute. The next one is, let's see, is this from, it's supposed to be something with spring. I don't see the names on here. Maybe they are. Um, maybe you guys can tell me. I don't know, but anyway, hello sunshine, happy day, love grow. It looks almost like Easter, but spring, very pretty colors. I like this. I like seeing that just bright and pretty. Yeah, some days you just have to create your own sunshine. So that I like very much. Here's one of the home for, like this right here tells me home for Christmas. I didn't see that on the other one, but yeah. Christmas wishes, our traditional truck. I'm telling you, I'm waiting any day now to see Hobby Lobby bust out the Christmas stuff because it's, they're moving empty aisles. I'm waiting any day now. The most wonderful, that was, the truck was on the front of their bags last year for the holidays. Merry Christmas. Here, look, Advent has so many days to Christmas. Cute jingle all the way. Very sweet. Okay, so those were the three individual ones I got. Then, let's see. <clears throat> we got the first pack of the whole collection. It was an Echo Park one, Witches and Wizards. And if I'm not mistaken, didn't they just come out for uh, Witches and Wizards 2? So let's just take a quick look because I love these. And again, they're on sale. They go $7.50 on the warehouse sales. The Witches and Wizards, um, on sale they go for like anywhere from $6 to $7.50 on the warehouse Sales, depending on how many you get but very cute obviously the uh, Harry Potter vibe Universal Studios that kind of thing if you do any of your trips down there you have Harry Potter fans you have both sides on there let's see stay magical riding the train oh very cool if you haven't been down there you know go from park to park you ride the train there it's, it's a lot of fun so two of these <coughs> that is a really cool one. Love it. Okay, so we have two of them. Then we have our the uh, owl. Oh, and the lightning bolt. How great these are! Great. Oh my gosh, these are such good ones for Harry Potter. Loving it. Okay, we have our books. Again, liking both of these very much. Here we have. Let's see. Sometimes we need a little bit of magic. Look at the postcard. Isn't that cool? I like that. Nice. These are so big, too. Always believe something magical is about to happen. Between the pages of a book is a lovely place to be. Really cute. Oh, and again, really great backgrounds. These are really nice. Okay. What else we got? And there's more. Oh, here's our hat. The naming hats. Is that what it's called? Selection hat. Naming hats. And our, what is that, Gryffindor? You can tell it's been a while since I've watched them, <laughs> the movies. Read them even long before that. Watched them, it's been ages. Very nice. Okay, and then here is our last page, which has all the really great, um, look at our wands, potions and spells, believe. Oh, uh, this is really cute. You look at that long the long border magical really nice okay so that is the first one try and go through these quickly let's see summer dreams we've probably seen this a bunch of times so i'll try and go through this quickly but this is our second kit and i love watching other people's unboxing too because like i saw one person they got a pad and it's called toy box i'm like 
how have I never seen this? And it looks like um, Toy Story. And I'm like, I am now determined. I don't care. I'll pay full price for it. I want that collection. I want that paper pad. <laughs> so I love watching these. So I hope you guys are enjoying it too. If you are, you know, hit the like, leave me a comment. Tell me what you got. Did you get the same or different? <clears throat> and if you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. So here we go with our summer dreams. These are cute. I remember when you have all these kind of tickets. I like when you still get them. Okay, pretty polka dots. Here we've got our cut aparts. Ice cream, we, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Again, I'm just loving, oh, it looks like fish scales. All the pretty colors for, um, oh, this will be the side I use for sure. I love, I just bought, my husband laughed at me. I just bought two plastic pink flamingos to put out by the pool you know with the stakes on the legs because we're in florida so i'm like why not we have christmas flamingos that go out that are lit up by the pool at christmas time why shouldn't i have regular plastic pink ones in the summer yeah so we've got the sunglasses whitewash board very nice i just bought bought some of this individual sheet that i thought at a hobby lobby like two a day or two ago and I thought, no, I'm not paying 69 cents. I'll wait until it goes on sale. So I'm definitely getting thrifty. Again, really pretty colors. Oh, I'm really enjoying this. Liking it, liking it, liking it. And granted, I mean, we're here in Florida, so probably these colors are more at year-round. A little camera. Kind of like those little selfie ones. Very cute. <clears throat> Everyone's favorite. We've got our ice cream. And Ferris wheels, I can't remember the last time I was on a Ferris wheel. Up in uh, Dorney Park in Allentown, I think, the big Ferris wheel. That was probably the last time, years and years ago. Really, really pretty colors here. <coughs> Same thing, great colors on this. Fudge Pops. And I have the great set, I'm trying to remember who it's through, that makes shakers. I think, is it Tonic or Spellbinders? I forget, I think it's Tonic. And it makes shakers of lollipops just like this. Now, how great would that be with that for the background? Here you have more cut aparts like the sweet. Just got my first watermelon. It's in the fridge right now. Yummy. Can't wait. And all these gorgeous 12-inch borders. Loving it. Look at that. Wow, that's beautiful. That looks be great. I don't think I had this one before. I know they have a whole bunch of different summer... Um, but this one's Summer Dreams. I like this one. I, this is one I will definitely put on my list to pick up another one for. These are not the shiny. These are matte. So, and they have, see, I like, and I know I always say this. I, I prefer if they don't have the white around the edges. So, some of these do, some of these don't. But, really cute. I don't know. Somehow this looks familiar to me. I can't tell because there's, they have so many of them. Just like the Christmas ones. I have to look at my list. To remember because I remember looking at them and saying, oh, I really like that. But did I pick it up or did I just remember liking it when I looked at it? <clears throat> Next one is First Responder. Okay, First Responder. This is cute. I do not have anybody that is a First Responder like in our family or anything like that. But it is adorable. So I'm just not, I'm not quite sure what I will do with that. Maybe, I don't know. Document one of our uh, numerous hospital visits, <laughs> kind of like me earlier with the appendix bursting, you know, hospital say and all that. Um, but these are cute. Very, really cute. Yes, that would be a nice big sign. You know, the kids probably would have loved these. I remember we used to go, you know, to the fire station. You see the fire trucks, the police things. So even if you don't, like to me, I can easily use these, uh, the alternate sides. Very cute really cute so i'm glad at least they have some of these how adorable are these oh my gosh thank you for all you do eat sleep serve repeat protect serve sacrifice hero very cute so <clears throat> let's see this love that with all our pretty star colors same thing really nice we appreciate you. How nice are these, though? If you are making thank yous for all these people, these are really great. I mean, really nice if you're doing thank yous for um, the different first responders. I like these color. I like, I'm really liking the B-sides, too. So even if I don't have, yep, 
for the fire station. There we go. Great color mixes. Like this doesn't look anything like, you know, that looks beautiful though. And here, look at how cute these are. Adorable. Very cute. Like that could be carnival. You know what I mean? So these are sweet. Very adorable. <clears throat> if you have somebody, you know, these would make great scrapbook pages and cards. If you have anyone along those lines. Okay, let's see. A couple more. We're still going. Alice in Wonderland. Yay! I was so happy to get this. Oh my gosh. And yes, they do have this right now. I think it's $7.50 or if you get, you know, however many. I think you can get it down to $6 a piece depending on how many you buy. So I was really happy about this. I have yet to find these small pads. I don't know if they even made them, like the small ones. But this to me, happy, happy, happy. Look at how cute. And I had just gotten the, um, last year, the Crafter's Companion, you know, the box kits that had Alice in Wonderland to do cards. And it's got like 3D teacups and all that kind of thing. So very cute. I, I'm very happy to see this tie into it. In fact, I might have bought a second one. I like it so much. So what if I fall? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? <laughs> These are just so cute. We're all mad here. Very cute. We have roses. So we've got two of that. <clears throat> Butterfly, that certainly could be used for anything. Same thing with here. What a pretty paper, though, huh? Isn't that pretty? Look at this. Oh, my gosh. So cute. It's just adorable how the, you know, the graphic. Just adorable. She fell asleep and got lost in Wonderland. The only way to achieve the impossible is to believe it's possible. Always dream. Shine like the stars. Ah, love it, love it, love it. And I was just in Hobby Lobby, and they have all of a sudden new charms. And they had some that were Alice in Wonderland. They had some Disney ones, like little tiny charms that you could, well, of course, you could use them for jewelry. But I usually loop them and tie them on a bow on cards and scrapbook pages and things. And they had Disney ones. They had Alice in Wonderland ones and I was like oh should I shouldn't I and I didn't now I'm like huh eh, well see I should have right uh here we go with Alice and the pretty butterflies just a pretty back page here we have another I'm really enjoying that they put so many of the cut aparts in there so that you can do cards with them or on your scrapbook pages do you suppose she's a wild a wildflower cute very pretty very pretty oh that's probably my favorite right there isn't that great look at that i know i'm too excited by it right <clears throat> and then we have our stickers there you go so all drink me always dream flowers our queen of hearts here Let's see wonderland our king every adventure requires a first step the little clocks, tees, Mad Hatter, Dream. Love it. So, isn't that a great set? So, really cute. Very happy to get that one. Then we got, okay, <clears throat> Dots and Stripes Vellum, though. So, there's actually six pages here. Oops, let me put Alice back over there. Six pages of 12 by 12 vellum. Really pleased with that. And I think they're all the dots, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so we'll pull that out real quickly. Let's see. Okay. Oh, even the front, even, oh, here we go. Okay, that's separate. So, do I have something white here? I think we'll use the back of our Alice page. So it's pretty thick vellum. It, it is pretty thick. I mean, it's it's sheer, but it's not like thin, real thin, you know, the 110 I'm not sure what the GSM is on it, but it is, it's, you can still see, if you can, I don't know how hard, see the contrast there a little bit, <clears throat> so, with the white and pink, very pretty, so I'm wondering if it'll be less obvious than when you put glue on it, because of the color, so we've got the raspberry, and we have a purple, probably doesn't help showing yellow under there but it's just so you can see the amount of sheerness because some are very sheer these are a lot more white but really pretty and i just love the polka dots anybody see the new crafters companion paper that came out today it is 
one side's floral, one side's polka dots, and then they have solid 12 by 12s. And I'm, oh, I'm tempted because those polka dots, I just love them. So here we go. So that was a nice surprise. Six sheets of that. And the last thing in my bottomless box <clears throat> of goodies here is I love Christmas. So if you've seen it, skip on ahead. <laughs> That's it for me. If not, let me show you because it is really cute. Look at these. Look at these. You can see all our front things. I'm telling you, I think I just, like cut out some of these little ones just because they're so cute. Okay, so we've got, here we go. We have our beautiful points poinsettias on the front page. I, I'm telling you, lately, I could just do album and card after card just with poinsettias on it. With our plaid on the back. Here we've got some of our um, holly and berries. Not mistletoe. Mistletoe is white. <laughs> with our snowflakes. We've got another pretty, let's see, <clears throat> our ornaments or baubles, whichever you call them. Very pretty with the colors. It's like softer because it's not this stark white. Very pretty. And here we've got, now this is the white with our pretty lights. I feel like I want to put on these, this is, whoops, sorry about that. The, I want to put like these, like the glossy accents if you have them or glossy highlights, whether you've got Tim Holtz or Spectrum Noir. On all these, I don't know how long it would take to do, but wouldn't that look pretty? Because then they'd be shiny. <laughs> okay. Next, we've got some of our papers, adorable little reindeers, totally cute, very sweet, <clears throat> and these, okay, cute that they all have the little letters, I'm not sure what, I mean, if that's cute if you're doing a little book for the kids, because A is for Angel, B is for Belle, it's just, that's adorable, but I'm not sure what I would do with those, um, I don't know, if you don't have a, small, a young one, that is very pretty on its own. That's gorgeous. That's something I'm not used to seeing. Fancy, but very pretty. And this, can you see? It's very, I hope you can see it. Soft, like subtle pattern there. Here we've got our little snowmen and our little elves, bells. Adorable. I like, when I'm seeing this, it makes me think, oh, I'm waiting for uh, any day now the Hallmark Channel to start, right? Look at this. This I love. I was, this is one I would buy like extra pages just because it looks like the candy canes and then green um, snowflakes in between. Love it. I don't need another Christmas thing, I'm telling you, for the next 30 years, but I can't help it. I mean, I'll probably end up <clears throat> a few years from now, my collection of crafting will be half Christmas and then the other half just everything else. And that's just, that is just a beautiful, beautiful page. Both sides, really gorgeous. So this is one I think would be really nice to have a couple sets. So if you want to do your scrapbooks, you have two pages and then, you know, a third one for the accents on it, for sure. This is how I get end up with so many of these things. But this is adorable. Great cut aparts again for our journaling, all our cuties here. Always Fresh Made with Love Gingerbread Bakery. North Pole Reindeer Training Academy. Adorable. And look at that. I heard the bells on Christmas Day, Jolly Santa Claus, Jingle Bells, Joy to the World. That's really nice. I think that is really sweet. Here we've got another one with cut aparts, Holly Jolly, Christmas Tree Farm. Here we go. Let's see. Did I flip that over yet? Our polka dots, very nice. And all our long border strips. Very nice. And let's see what is the last is our stickers. Very cute. Aren't they adorable? Santa's Toy Shop. Making children happy since 1799. Open all winter. That is adorable. Very cute. So, very pleased with what I got. Please let me know. Were you happy with your choices? I love seeing what everyone else got. It's nice to see such a variety. Again, the warehouse sale is going on now. So, go uh, echoparkoutlet.com. Check it out. I have a bunch of um, Anna Griffin, so much Crafters Companion came in, some Amazon items for men's cards and stuff I've been doing, um, all coming up in the next week or two, I'm going to try and get caught up, <clears throat> and I hope to see you all again real soon, bye for now.